Marine biologist Karen Dobsky has strolled through this beach every week over the past 30 years. At the helm of a coastal watch project, she studies marine ecosystems. Looking back, the landscape has changed tremendously since 10 years ago. Marine litter that once piled up ashore has mostly vanished. And that's why Karen is particularly excited today. The biologist's main focus is marine debris uh -huh. that so often finds its way into European waters and beaches. So you find these tiny bits of plastic everywhere. And you can see the black, blue, green, and there are also bits of net and bits of various types of plastic which break down further and further until eventually they become small enough to be ingested by fish and to go into the gut of even prawns and shrimp. Something which we have to stop. Determined to deal with litter, Ireland became one of the first countries in Europe to voluntarily set up a levy on plastic bags in 2002. Their efforts have really paid off. Before the levy, plastic bags accounted for 5% of the marine litter, while today they represent less than 0.5%. As you can see, no plastic bags. In 2000, the average was around 19 plastic bags per 500 meters. It's now two. Shortly after implementing the levy, Ireland managed to reduce the use of plastic bags by 95%. The environmental levy is a type of tax. Shoppers are required to pay 0.22 cents for each non-reusable plastic bag they wish to purchase. While in some other countries charging for a plastic bag is optional, in Ireland it's mandatory. Hello. Authorities ensure inspections take place to check whether the levy is being applied. My name is Michelle Brown. I'm an authorised officer under the Waste Management Acts. Right. We've just done a control situation to make sure that you're charging the plastic bag levy. Ireland's successful effort in getting rid of plastic bags will be soon replicated across Europe. In 2015, the EU adopted a new directive that obliges member states to drastically cut the consumption of lightweight plastic bags. Countries can choose from a number of options. They can decide to use economic instruments such as charges or levies. They can set national reduction targets to cut the number of such plastic bags consumed in Europe by 50% by 2019 and by 80% in 2025. Ireland's levy changed consumer behaviour and has been deemed an outstanding success. Revenues generated from the plastic bag levy are used to fund environmental research and waste management. Ireland's levy might not have been too popular in the beginning, but it changed people's mindsets along the way. When we studied it before the levy was introduced, we found that consumer behaviour was quite negative. But as people got used to it, they got to like it. So nowadays, if you tried to abolish the tax, we believe there would be a very popular reaction to it. So the tax is probably one of the fewest taxes in the world that are actually popular with the taxpayers. I think it's a very good idea in the EU to start with an initiative in one country. Pilot it, test it, see that it works. And this really works. It's an environment tax which people are proud of. It's not a tax by the back door which fills your potholes in the road. This is for the environment. And so I think it has proven itself and it could work in other countries and I would welcome if it was used across Europe. Now it's up to member states to do their part. By November 2016, they need to inform the European Commission what measures they have adopted. Some have already shown that simple measures can lead to big changes.